What is it like to try to sketch someone's soul? Editorial cartoonist Steve Brodner has been trying to do just that every day for years. The pandemic compelled the artist to draw hundreds and hundreds of images of America's COVID pain and suffering and of the politicians who push democracy to the brink. For so many Americans, when the pandemic started, the world shut down. But that's when illustrator and editorial caricature Steve Brodner picked up his pen. Every day you'd see in the paper all of these names and these faces. So I said, let me draw some. And how did you decide? Because it was literally thousands of people dying every day. How did I you know. decide which story to tell? At first it was just whatever was giving me the strongest uh, kind of emotional reaction. Rodner was moved by the stories of COVID's first victims and the harrowing images he could not get out of his head, such as a young doctor in Alabama. She's treating young people. Yeah. And they're coming into her hospital and they're un unvaccinated. She says one of the last things they do before they're intubated, which is often one of the last things that they right. would do to somebody before they died, is beg me for the vaccine. I hold their hand and tell them that I'm sorry, but it's too late. She had to do this many, many times. Every day, Brodner picked a person or an image and drew it for hundreds of days, and he's still drawing. His work has now been published altogether in a new book, Living and Dying in America. Here's one on page three. It's a President Trump yelling at a bunch of graves. How can you do this to me? That's, that's maybe my favorite cartoon uh, as a cartoon in the whole book because it's all about his victimhood. Nobody's a bigger victim than he is. You definitely don't like him, but you definitely like drawing him. It's enjoyable for you to do that. <laughs> He has a lot of great features. The thing is, it's enjoyable in a way in which you feel that you have to address something that's gone wrong with the world, you know. He was president of the United States. He was supposed to take care of people. He was supposed to look after his people. And he looked after one person. And that's where our troubles began. Brodner also drew the Black Lives Matter movement, ignited by the violent deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and so many more. And his work took on an even darker feel politically after the attack on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Somebody I've interviewed a few times, it's been my honor to interview him, is D.C. Capitol Police Sergeant Aquilino Ganell, uh, who you capture so well here in this image. So when you're drawing a face, um, there's a thing that happens if it's, if it's going well. You're getting into the soul a little bit. You're getting into, you're not just trying to capture the character, you're trying to capture the feeling the person has. What is that person going through? How do the contours of the face give you a key into what's going on in the internal life of the, of the person? You know, it's hard not to read this book and, live, have to, and to have lived through it all and continue to feel hopeful. The reason to express outrage about what's happening is because you love your country and you want to improve things. You believe, you know, the cartoonists have this kind of crazy idea that if you just do the perfect picture, you do the right image, it'll change the world.